Now, technology has revolutionised competitive sport. Wimbledon has Hawkeye, as does cricket, of course. Mm -hmm. In fact, this is it in action a few days ago in the Cricket World Cup. There we go. Now, another bastion of traditional judgment has succumbed to technological help. Let's cross live now to our science correspondent, David Gregory, who's getting, well, the high-tech help then, David. Well, Suzanne, believe it or not, it's the judges in a bell ringing competition this Saturday at Birmingham Cathedral behind me. For the first time, they're going to be helped with a bit of high tech computerized technology that some people are calling Hawkeer. Inside the Birmingham Cathedral Tower are 12 bells, and they're getting them ready for this Saturday's competition, where seven teams will each ring Cambridge Surprise Maximus which is 12 minutes long and involves the bells being struck 3,456 times. Well, one of the difficulties for the judges is uh, keeping concentration up for uh, three and a half hours during the ringing. Um, they might uh, uh, turn up in the morning and uh, take a, a little while to warm up, perhaps. Then they might become a little bit overactive in, in the marking and then they might get tired in the afternoon. So it's very difficult for them to uh, keep their concentration. So for this competition, for the first time, the judges will have some technological backup. So these microphones are the key to the whole system. We are right up at the top of the Tower of Birmingham Cathedral here, and these mics will pick up every strike on the bells and feed it all back downstairs to a computer. Now, if you excuse me, it's about to get very noisy up here. Hawkeer produces plenty of information for the teams to study, but for the judges there's a single number showing how accurate each team of ringers is. So will this replace the human judges? I think it's very unlikely. Um, ringing is an art as well as a science, and uh, just as in cricket, uh, Hawkeye hasn't replaced the, the umpires, and uh, this is an aid to the judges, not uh, uh, intended to replace them. Looks like it's time to ring the technological changes. Well, with me is bell ringer Michael Wilby, who's one of the people competing this Saturday. Michael, we've seen this error rate. Uh, if you got it down to zero, it'd be a perfect peel, I guess. But how would that sound? Well, it's a sort of thing. Bell ringing is a bit more of a sort of musical art form rather than something scientific or mechanical. I think if it got down to zero, it just wouldn't sound very nice at all. It'd sound like a computer was doing it. Would it even be possible for you to have no errors at all in 12 minutes? Hey, we're 12 humans, you know. <laughs> So it's all about interpretation. Um, Hawkeer, as we've seen, produces this number. It produces lots of readouts as well. All the teams have seen that. How useful is all that information? It, it's early days. We're, we're getting to the sort of information now, which is it, it's a little bit of work to interpret it, but it's getting more and more useful to us. We can tell, for instance, if we're too quick or too slow and actually how we perform together as a team. Does it pick out individuals? Yes, it does. <laughs> Finally, when I was up there, that tower moves. Do all bell towers move when you ring? Yes, and some more than others. Are there any alarming ones in the Midlands? Yes, there's a very, very alarming one in Livington. Don't go there unless you've got a safety harness. <laughs> Michael, thank you very much for that, and good luck on Saturday. Uh, now, the other thing to say is because Birmingham's an urban cathedral, uh, the judges can't be distracted by bus traffic or airplanes overhead, so they're going to be down in the crypt for three and a half hours of judging. So if you're passing on Saturday, listening to the lovely bells, do think about them down there. Back to you in the studio. Gosh. I didn't think yeah, it was a dangerous was job, but I didn't realise yeah, bell towers no. moved. And I suppose it makes basically sense. basically spots it if you drop a clanger, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Oh.